Good morning children. Let's continue with the lesson light, shadows and images. So till now we have learned that there are three types of objects. That is opaque, transparent and translucent objects. Objects which form shadows like wood, metal, cardboard etc. are opaque objects. Objects which do not form shadows like air, water, glass etc. are transparent objects. And objects which form unclear shadows like butter paper, oily paper are translucent objects. Thus we see that all objects do not form shadows. Only opaque objects form shadows. We need a source of light and an opaque object to get a shadow. Are sources of light and an opaque object enough to get shadows? Do we need something more? Let us understand it through these experiments. Do this activity in a dark room. Take an opaque object like a book and a torch light. Focus the light on the book with the torch. Keep the distance about 30 cm between the book and the torch. Now put the torch under the book at a distance of about 30 cm like shown in the figure. Did you see the shadow? Yes, we were able to see the shadow on the wall as well as on the roof, right? Do the same activity in the open air at night. We cannot see the shadow in the open air. Now place a plank at a distance of 1 meter above the book. We see the shadow now on the plank. The plank acts as a screen. So what can we conclude from here? Through these experiments, we understand that only light and opaque objects are not enough to form the shadow of an object. In addition to these, we need a screen. In our day-to-day -day activities, we observe many shadows on the surface of the earth. In all these cases, earth acts as a screen. Did you observe children, the size of shadow changes in relation to the source of light? A large shadow is formed when the toy is close to the light if you, if you observe here, right? As we move the toy away from the light, we see the shadow becomes smaller and smaller. So, size of the shadow will be bigger if the object is closer to the light and it will be smaller if the object is away from the source of light. Children, you can put your hands and fingers in different positions before a torch or a source of light and form shadows which may resemble the shadow of animals. As you can see here, do try it children. The shadow puppetry. Do you know what is shadow puppetry? It is one of our traditional recreational activities. In this, some puppets are used to form shadows on a screen and a story is narrated with the help of the shadows. Children, write these words three times each neatly in your homework book and learn the spellings. So, the words are shadow, reflection, transparent, translucent, opaque, screen, source, luminous. So that's all for today children. Thank you.